We are learning more about Lisa Martin, the Papillion teacher who personally met President Barack Obama Wednesday and even introduced him to the crowd inside Baxter Arena. Our Erin Murray shares with us a look inside her classroom and the story behind how her connection to the president came about. Inside Papillion La Vista High School. Yes, get out your books. Phil Hackenberg. Lisa Martin teaches English. But Wednesday, the state of Nebraska saw her as the woman introducing the president of the United States inside Baxter Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the 44th president of the United States of America, Barack Obama. And the mother who hours before visited with President Obama in her home. Hey man, how are you doing? An experience brought about because of a late night letter. It was pretty early in the morning and I probably was pretty sleep deprived. Written months ago. I didn't expect him to respond. About her young son Cooper's future. Climate change, I guess, um, mostly. And just having a planet that's safe for my son to grow up on. A day later, life is back to normal other than a press conference. She's back in the class with her students. Now that's serious. <laughs> the lesson today, more a lesson in life. You have to rise to the occasion. Um, you have to, I mean, if, if you get an opportunity, you have to take it. From the big stage of the arena, now to the smaller stage of the classroom. Most, I think, would agree Lisa Martin made a difference and created her own change. Just like we saw here inside Baxter Arena, Martin says the president was extremely down to earth and very personal, personable. Mallory, she says when he was in her home, it was just like, you know, having a friend in your living room. Just very easy. And Aaron, one of the things we were talking about all day is, you know, as a mom, how do you prepare your home for the president of the United States? <laughs> Absolutely. I know that phone call has got to be like, oh my goodness. But she said what she did was immediately call her husband because I guess in their house they had a, a wall they were working on and basically told him like, honey, we have got to get the drywall in and paint that before he gets here, which they thankfully did. That honey-do list, a top priority. All right, thank you. That's Aaron Murray <laughs> reporting live tonight. Well, Martin did say when she was contacted on Friday about the president's arrival, Secret Service required her to tell no one but her family. She couldn't even tell the school where she works why she had to take a sick day.